Welcome back to another pen talk. Today I decided to revisit a Chinese pen manufacturer, Duke. Uh, this is the Duke 116, fairly popular, fairly easy to find, and uh, the price that you're going to find on the internet varies considerably from um, who's selling to the many, many varieties this pen comes in. Overall, I'm very happy with the pen. The construction is excellent. Attention to detail, fit and finish. And what I was amazed about with this pen is just that subtlety of the striping in the barrel. It's nice to see a Chinese pen with some subtlety to it. Plain chrome end at the end of the barrel. Chrome ring here, which is standard. Have a nice center band with Duke. Germany, interesting. And of course, 116. There's also the Duke emblem, kind of like that crown. I guess the Duke being royalty has a crown. Yeah, nicely designed clip, very stiff. You know, the top of the pen looks kind of reminiscent. What would you say that looks like? Mm, maybe a pelican. The other thing that's nice is there's a nice little emblem at the top of the cap. You know, Germany, Duke, Lux, which I'm assuming might be luxury or pen. And then, of course, Germany again and the Duke logo. Snap to fit cap. And it's a fairly good substantial click. So it's not going to accidentally come off. And a post with the same type of clip. So that to me is a great design. You know, um, German engineering, if one may use that phrase. So uh, the section is the, a classic section, nothing uh, significant about it, very comfortable. Uh, nice metal band here at the bottom, another metal band here at the bottom of the barrel. The nib is uh, branded with Duke in Germany, so one uh, would assume that these are German-made nibs, maybe Bach, maybe Iovo, maybe somebody else. Look at the feed, that's also a standard feed that we've seen on many other pens. What makes this pen interesting and why I purchased it was the nib is ground. I purchased this from my supplier in Singapore on eBay. There's the auction. And it was supposedly ground in the Richard Binder style. Yeah, I'd say it's pretty much a standard stub. Um, not much of an oblique to it. Uh, so that's, uh, you know, again, I had bought this pen a while ago, and I wrote with it for a little bit and uh, put it away. So I brought it back out again because when I looked at it, I said, uh, I need to show this. And when I saw that the Dukes were still available online from a number of different places, I said, uh, let's show this to my viewers. The pen has a nice weight to it and feel. You know, there's everything about this pen that says quality from all different perspectives. So I think the real key thing we need to do now is uh, ink this thing up and write with it. Keep in mind that this is a modified nib, so um, your writing from an unmodified Duke nib may vary, but I would consider it to probably have the same writing characteristics of any of the classic uh, standard good quality German steel nibs. It's always good to do a size comparison of pens that you might be familiar with. So we have our Duke pen, our Jinhao X450, Twisby 580, and uh, Lamy Safari. They're all basically about the same length, so that's kind of interesting, you know, that certain length that fountain pens seem to be in, if they're in, I would call the sweet spot as far as size goes, so. Uncapped and posted, uh, they certainly now take on a different size look. The 580 is not a pen, it's uh, something you would normally post and you can uh, activate the piston if you screw around with the cap once it's posted. 
The Jinao X450 certainly has the biggest nib of the group, but the uh, Hero, uh, sorry, yes, the Duke holds its own. Uh, Freudian slip there. And of course the Lamy Safari is, is in the mix. Been into Sailor Inks as we know. This is one I haven't shown anybody I think before. Shiguri or is a dark purple. So we'll ink up the pen. Put the bottle upside down, move it up right side so it fills that ink well. I'm not a fan of the ink well in these bottles. I think it would work just as well without it. It's a standard uh, cartridge converter. It comes with a, a nice converter. And what's also nice about the converter is it's very easy to disassemble. There's a picture of it disassembled, so it's easy to clean. I had ink in here for a while. I was bad. I didn't clean it out when I was done with my first writing with it, and it was a pretty aggressive ink, but uh, it cleaned up fairly well. It took a while. So now, of course, the piston filler works very nicely, very smoothly. It's cleaned in, in silicone, so we'll insert the nib into the bottle of ink. And what I find is that these inserts in the Sailor inks don't come up. I mean, this is not a big pen with a big nib, but it's hard to cover the feed. Back of the feed where the section is, is, is where it pulls up the ink. So I'm going to do my normal up and down three times just to make certain that we get a nice uh, saturation of the feed. And one of the things, as you can see, it's not a full feed, a full fill. But I think that's because of the way this insert works. I've taken that out of some of my sailors and I find it to still write fill well. You know, the thing I wanted to show you is the fact that it is metal inside. So uh, you got plastic against metal, but everything is machined well, everything fits together well. So like I said, I, it has a quality feel to it. It is smooth. There's some line variation. There's a little bit of flex, but when you put pressure on it, you can definitely feel it against the paper. This is Fabriano paper, which is not as smooth and as coated as Rodi or Clairefontaine, but I, I really like it because it really uh, does well with almost every ink. And I like the, the way that it feels on the uh, nib and paper it gives you a little bit of feedback and I like a little feedback a super smooth nib to me is is Not as interesting to write with as one where you can feel the paper You know, kind of like uh, driving a nice sports car with uh, the feel of the road versus um, a Luxury car which isolates you from the feel of the road. So that's my uh, philosophy of uh, Pen and cars of today. So overall, I'm uh, happy with this and this is a unique pen, so it's not something that you're going to be able to buy again. Uh, these uh, people in Singapore sold a couple of these for a short period of time on eBay and then disappeared. I haven't really looked for them again, but, you know, just look for uh, specialty ground nibs and see what you can find. So that's a, a short review of this pen. Like I said, it's available in a lot of places, Amazon, eBay, um, a lot of the uh, pen um you know, sellers uh, carry Dukes and may carry the 116. There's been a lot of other reviews on the web, so if you're interested, please check those out. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this, and why is it out of focus? So uh, may you have many writing experiences. May you enjoy all the variations and pleasures they bring you. Till later, bye.